How do I separate the engine from the generator? What's the make and model of the generator? And can you guesstimate how old it is? Onan model 6.5 NHE1R slash 26100A. Do you plan on doing the work yourself? Yes. Anything else we should know to help you best? Nope. Serial hash. Hello, my name is I am going to assist you with this. This is going to take me a few minutes to type out, so please bear with me. Okay. I know this may sound nitpicky, but you do not separate the engine from the generator, you separate the generator from the engine. This is a fairly complicated unit to separate, so make sure you take good notes, and are pictures during disassembly. To remove the stator, the first thing you need to do is to remove the air filter and housing. Next, remove the brush block. If you do not, you will break the brushes on disassembly. Now remove the starter. Remove all ignition wiring that runs across the top of the stator housing. Open the control panel, and disconnect any wiring that will need to be pulled to remove the stator housing, varies by actual model. Remove the fuel pump and fuel line. Slide the genset to the edge of the bench, so you can remove the, two, stator housing vibration bolts from underneath the genset. Depending on the actual model, they will either be a T55 Torx, or a 916. Be very careful not to pull the genset off the bench and drop it on yourself. Lift the end of the genset, and set a piece of board under the generator to engine adapter, a piece of 2x2 works great, to keep the end of the genset elevated. Remove the, 4, stator to adapter bolts. In the end of the stator housing, you will see some pre-drilled holes around the bearing. Only using the holes at the 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock positions, drill and tap the holes to 3 8 minus 16. One of the holes really doesn't need to be drilled, just tapped. Attach a puller to the end bell, and pull the end bell off. As you are pulling the end bell off, you will see the housing pulling off the rotor bearing. This is normal, as the bearing is glued to the rotor shaft. When pulling the housing, be careful not to let it drag across the rotor, so it doesn't damage the rotor and or stator windings. Once all of that is done, then you can pull the rotor. To remove it, loosen, but do not remove, the rotor through bolt about one quarter of an inch. Using a dead blow hammer, or engineer hammer and block of wood, turn the rotor so the steel laminations are facing straight up. Do not use a steel hammer directly on the steel rotor laminations, or you will damage the rotor. Also be very careful not to hit the copper windings, slip rings or bearing. Squarely and sharply strike the steel laminations 4 or 5 times. Turn the rotor 180 degrees, and whack the other side a few times. Turn and whack, turn and whack. When the rotor pops loose of the crankshaft, simply unscrew the through bolt and pull the rotor off. Okay. I will get back with you later. Sounds like it could take a while. It takes me about an hour, so you can figure about double that, since you've never done it. Thank you for using Just Answer, and please take a moment to rate my assistance, so I get credit for my time and expertise. Okay. Thanks Hank I sure will. Okay. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.